Let's make. Oh, that's. There we go. I can hear you. Coming in hot. I'm a little high. You're always a little hot, just for me. Ooh, okay. Daddy. Wow. No. Ooh, we like that. <laughs> not, Wrong. Not in this basement. Uh, oh. Roger that. Proceed as requested. <laughs> don't don't tempt me. Juliana Tower. My neighbor was a uh, air traffic controller at Salt Lake City International. He always worked the night shift. Yeah. Dude made a shit ton of money. Oh, yeah. All. But he looked like hell. Oh, yeah. yeah. He looked like he was like glow in the dark white. Yeah, no, like that. And is just normal. his eyes were sunken into That's his skull. Pretty normal. Hey, yeah. He just looked like literally like a ghoul. <laughs> Damn. Like Charlie from. I like ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> Milk steak. Anyway. <laughs> uh. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 214 of the Camcast. Woo! I like it when you laugh. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, Tenders. Also creepy, creepy, but also adorable. Oh, creepy. There More creepy is. than okay, adorable. And now it's... Now it's, now it's crossed the line. That's disgusting. That was gaping. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry. This is a reason you need to support us on Patreon. Yes. So you can live stream this and see exactly what was horrifying. No. No. I am Mike, Do dear it. leader, doc taste, leader of men, herder of cats, Mew. guy who's wondering what the shit is going on with his life. Mew, Mew. How did he get here? Cheep, cheep. I was in college at one point. Go back. I really need to. <laughs> it's worth it. Or just disappear into the woods. Either or. Not so worth it. Or, or you could just learn from Pluralsight. <laughs> no. I could just walk into the sea. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. <laughs> That's a... No, you literally could. We've actually got quite a few success stories, but <laughs> by walking into the sea. Oh yes, right. correct. Yeah, there we, we teach you how to properly walk into the sea. <laughs> <I was> so <laughs> confused. But yeah. what we do is we, we, t- we have teach quite you a few success to... <laughs> stories of people walking into the sea. We teach you how to properly monetize walking into the sea. Oh, okay. oh, wonderful! There, Anybody is, can walk into the <laughs> sea. You can make a million dollars doing it. Is there good money there? <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. Okay, cool. No, no. Anyway, I am joined to my right by the one, the only, the solemn. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Professor of the Ghetto Arts, tenured but not licensed. You're mine, our Uncle Radical. Someone out there, some very a very special lady, calls him Daddy. She ain't here, no. Nope. So we're not calling him Daddy. Ain't nobody down here. Nope. We yeah. do call him Scoots. Scoots! Because he's fun and jaunty like that. Daddy Rads. It is Dave Raleigh. Low compression and emissions requirements have killed my shenanigans. Oh, oh. they've taken away his steam. Boy, can't, I, Zara. can't I just hurl <laughs> nitrous at you until you're fun again? <laughs> I mean... F-U, EPA. Yes. EPA. All right. <laughs> Damn, EPA. Done and done. Well, seems like I got my groove back. It came in the form of a 20-pound nitrous bottle. <laughs> Purge it. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you throw down those revs on that... Uh, when you throw down all those revs on that rusty ass shit box, and then he starts purging like all crime is legal for the next twelve hours. <laughs> <laughs> when you see that Astro van pull around the burnout box and start purging <laughs> like Old Faithful, <laughs> it's like that stuffed animal. Oh my look. God! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow! Pretend you didn't see him. Anyway, well, my... uh, he's down there at the end of the table. Uh, he's. No, he's trying to be cute. Oh, he's it ain't trying. Working. Nope. God bless him for trying. Ooh, he's trying. With the good colonel himself. Good colonel Eddie Dean, chairman of the board, Zach Lords. I'm white as grandma's sick of more bread. Oh, Damn. Jeez. I was in a 32 car pileup, and the only thing that kept me safe was Grandma Sycamore's homemade bread. Damn. Damn. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing it. Didn't. <laughs> He is. He's bringing it. I mean, you stopped for a minute there. Yes, I didn't know how to take that. All right, we weren't sure where to go with it. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's not sure where to go most days, but he finally found his way back. Hey, ah, it uh. is. It's pizza, fella, dad, pizza guy. Da- the, you gotta, you're not. You're not you, my dad, guy. All right, you gotta. You gotta climb that mountain. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Uh, no, I, I, Brandon I think, Christian. Not the droids you want. I, I, I think the best quote is. You're not my dad. You're not my boss. You're not God. Stop talking to me. Wow. Damn. What's that from? Has anyone seen that? No. What's oh. that from? Oh, it's fucking amazing. It's like this, like short, like he's like five, four, eight. He's <laughs> in a bagel store. Oh, oh. It freaks the fuck out. Yeah, yeah that racist. dude. Getting the racist guy. Who That's getting laid out. Rocked. Yeah. 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 You're not my dad. You're not my boss. You're not God. So shut the fuck up. And he goes off on like black people and women at the same time. Uh, no, he's off most on women. And yeah. then there's an amazing interview where he basically is like, they're like, so what's your perfect woman? 
And like he just like is like the most misogynist. It's so fucking hilarious. Well, he's four foot two, and then he gets. I love how he gets laid the fuck out by yep. some dude in the background, and then they just instead of punching him, they just hold him down. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the difference between like yeah. white people and like if that were happening in a bodega in the Bronx. Oh, and oh the yeah. Best part too is he has his own dead. TV show. He has his own TV show. He what? Is fighting people, and they who they think they're gonna who think he's gonna fight first. Is the guy from is Hide this... Your Kids, Hide Your Wife, because raping everybody out here. Can we revive Kimbo Slice? Oh, bring him back. Can we bring him back from the dead? Yeah. Well, yeah, so it's literally just like <laughs> they fight like YouTube stars. It's like the whole. What? Yeah. Ah, fool. I got paid. Well, that dude, the Hide Your Kids, Hide Your Wife, he moved to LA to do like actual acting. And stuff. Really? Yeah. Ew. Fuck. But apparently he's going to be fighting him. Oh, this but, is happening. Yeah, like that's what I, last time I heard about two weeks ago, that's happening. Wow. All can, right. we, can we start a YouTube channel and get it big where I just get, like, fucking yoked and become a good enough fighter? I can just rock this dude? Yeah. Okay. I'm in. Uh, I kind of right. want to fight I'm down him with it. All I'm right. I'm doing one of these. Like, hold his head back. Uh, can I do uh, it in Tim's? I'll do it in Tim's. Do it in Tim's. Fuck yeah. Get sponsored by Tim's and do it in Tim's. Uh, my brother needed to buy dress shoes. So he bought Tim's? I tried to convince him, like, fuck it, man. Like, your girlfriend already said you look like a dumbass wearing, like, Chuck Taylors and dress pants. What you gonna say if you roll up in like a brand new pair of black Tims? Fucking golden. Right. Anyway, follow us on social media, Rick Cam Automag on everything. Podcast available. Wherever you get your podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, like, rate, review, subscribe, share with people. Preferably people who can fog a mirror, because those are the kind of people who can, you know, subscribe to things like a podcast. And we need that. Uh, yeah, I follow that. Yep. Or Kimbo Slice. <sighs> we'll take him. No, you, need just, you need to be like Jackson and just play it at his Les Schwab. There you go. Hey, oh, Over geez. the speakers. Well, wow. maybe we need to do some bleep bleeps. Nah. It's, it's, over the it's Les Schwab. <laughs> until until <laughs> <Okay>. somebody... <laughs> Shout right. out to you guys. Yeah. Until somebody tells me different. All right. Listen, it's Mark Explicit for a reason, okay? Yeah. yeah. NSFW, mother... <laughs> oh, jeez. Perfect. Go fuck yourself. Instead of beeps, let's do burps. Okay, Rick. No beeps, burps. Anyway, save the beeps. Perfect. You know, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash camautomag. Yes. Support us for any dollar amount, but at least $5, because $5 unlocks all sorts of fun stuff. $5 make me holla. Early access content, bonus content, the super secret cam shenanigans shit posting Facebook group. Yep. Fantastic. Yes. Where you get stuff like, you know, the question of the week, early. Where sometimes we may pull the question of the week from something that one of the people post in there. Yeah, we'll push you. You know. We'll post your question of the week. No, I am oh, look at that. I love the black. Is that Ooh, a... your personal account. I so know. young were you when you uh, took that photo? So young. Before the weight of the world finally crushed me. Ah, welcome to life. Ah, uh, yes. Anyway, so we've got some, uh, no, let's see. I think we, we already read that one from AJ. Yep. Do we so, have a new one from AJ? Yes, he's defending himself. Hey, let's okay. see it. I did mean the, so last week we asked, you know, it was the, M versus AMG debate. Which I'm sad I missed. Which we basically decided that we were all right and all wrong unless we had a time machine. Correct. So, you know. No, no, no. AMG was the right answer. The AMG it is was. Uh, depends, is, it was my answer. To that. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, let's see, from AJ. Let's set the record straight. I did mean the 1M because Jeremy Clarkson said so. I will admit I forgot about the OG M1 and adding the E30 M3 seemed cliche and I didn't want to come off as that guy. Nobody said the E30 M3 because nobody wanted to be that guy, thank God. <laughs> I mean, oh, I would have been that guy. I, thought that I know was you implied. would have, and I would have pointed and laughed. I Wait, because I mean, 190 like, as I would better. not. Oh, absolutely 190 is better. I no, I hate E30s. No offense. I mean, I like the I love the E30 M3, but like if you want to if you want to be a a Euro scene boy now, when I when it was us, it was Mark Ford. Right now, it's the E30. Yep, they're mm-hmm. just a dime a dozen, and I yep. don't I don't like them. It's coming, driven them. It's, it's coming full circle. I never really yeah. liked the E30, and I was very yeah. vocal about that. And I yeah. was the odd man out. No. And now there are a few more people standing in my camp. Yeah, I've always been in that camp. Never never liked the design. <laughs> of course, I hated the E28, and then I bought one. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'll, I'm sorry I missed that. But anyways, good yep. good job, AJ. I'm glad that you uh, cleared the air here. Well, and then as far as Zach's comments about the crosser, I would absolutely side with AMG based on that and the Evolution 2, but I didn't think those were technically AMG cars. Oh, those I, are absolutely I, I, AMG cars. Well, yep. I, so the crosser technically is not an AMG car. I believe I said that on the podcast. I would, you, you did clarify. Yeah. yeah. You did clarify. But 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I, 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 I would I would have classified the the evolution as an AMG card though. Evolution was definitely an AMG. That's a hundred percent an AMG. Yeah, card. yeah, yeah. It was yeah. built in the after Bakken. Oh, can we throw the the Mitsubishi AMG car in? No, no. It, no the, it's still the, an AMG car though. The Galant AMG. Yeah, the Galant. Yeah, but that wasn't made in after Bakken. But it was it had an AMG badge on it, and the rule stated. AMG or M badged cars. Oh, that's true. I mean, just saying. Throw it in the there. Fucking that hammer. could have been okay. an option. La- oh, nobody took it, but it could have been. It's kind of a shitty it, card, though. So lace it with yeah. your JDM influence. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, to to be fair, the AMG Gallant was a Gallant GSX, which is a non-turbo VR4, right? With just nicer interior and wheels. It was yeah. a weird thing. I, it was a very of it? interesting. <laughs> yeah, there's. They're just not like, I don't know. They're weird. It would be nice on a collector value. Yeah. yeah. I'll give you that. Interesting. But if I had to wait. pick between that and like a an Evo, it, it, sorry, an AMG Evo, the. Yeah, yeah, the, the Kazi. Yeah, there, thank you. Yeah. There's no question. Oh, yeah. Right. 100% no question. Yeah, Evo 2 all the way. Yep. <sighs> and then from Devin Creasy, the history of squat trucks as told and interpreted. By Devin Creasy. I, this blew my mind. I never knew this existed until this was posted up on the, the Cam Shenanigans page. This is a page. thing. It's a thing. Why is it a thing? It's been a thing for years. Yeah. It has well, been. I know that like well, the lowriders have done it. It's stance. But it's like oh, no, low no, no, riders no. are all infinitely adjustable. These well, yeah, no, like, but I mean, but they the, the default position was always rake, like mad reverse rake. Like yeah. they would put the nose up and just let yeah, that yeah, lay nose that up, ass down the bumper. Yeah. Yeah. That was. But the now thing. they're doing it on big old trucks with like thirty-two inch wheels. Why? So. Let's read Devin's dissertation. Oh, good. He is a doctor, after all. Yes. I listened to the photographer's favorite photographer today, and since I'm in the middle of squat country in the Carolinas, I appreciated Dylan's truck rant and the conversation that followed. (laughs) LOL. (laughs) Lulz. I wanted to take the creative liberty to give the varied history and lineage of Squat trucks, God, roughly I'm, based on the few known facts. God, I'm not talking about this. They look just like they sound. I've got... Yeah. Uh, you can polish off the bottle of bourbon in the filing cabinet. I can't stomach it that hard. I'd vomit. All right, then. Uh, uh, Pizza Dad is right about pre-runner stance. They are slightly squatted. The front is built more for up travel, and the rear is built for more down travel. 100%. Thank you for so, the validation, Devin. I love you. So that when the truck gets airborne, the rear axle touches the ground first. This type of suspension setup usually results in a little bit of squat. It right. does. That's yep. correct. Correct. I believe this is the origin of squat style. West uh-huh. Coast and East Coast then took the style and modified it to their separate tastes. The guys in Cali, closer to the origin of the style, created what is now called the Cali Lean. Cali Lean. It started with just creating this pre-runner-ish stance on normal street trucks driven by lifting the front. Right. Eventually was taken to an extreme, and since these are street trucks, they added big chrome wheels with street tires. Oh, horrible. Now, out here in the Carolinas slash south. Dirty south. I'm not sure how they saw this kind of stuff because pre-runner trucks don't have as much of a use out here because there is no desert to blast through. Right. Regardless, the Carolina Squat, I believe, hails from the same origins, but varies in that they still usually have truck-slash-off-road tires. Ah. The most extreme squat trucks lift the front, lower the rear, and leave their hitches in. It is an achievement to drag your hitch on the ground, which, much to my frustration, left gouges in the track surface after Nopi. Oh, jeez. Mm. Anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I mean, Love it. Cali Lean and Carolina Squat. Uh, it's also the, the Centex style, Central Texas. Centex. 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 Uh, I, I, I thought there was another name for this as well, too. Like Garbage. Yeah, yeah I think hot garbage. Yeah, that. Shit. Definitely that. This is the stance of... The truck world. There it is. A lot of people think that it's like the lowrider trucks and stuff like that. No, they've no. got way better fit and finish and yeah. way more uh, functionality and f- and fabrication uh, in their I, vehicles. I, yeah. I don't want to talk shit on anybody's build here, but like well, with a stance car, there is process and thought and time and effort that went into that. <laughs> You're not, right. Not, it, not it, just money. It clicked but, by now, and then they threw it on mom's Hyundai, and now they're winning shows, quote unquote. Or are you saying for stance cars or... For yeah, the stance garbage. No, no, I, I'm, I'm actually defending stance right now. Yeah, so, so, I'm sorry. So, so for stance cars, there's time and effort and thought. Like, like I've watched people build stance cars. It's not just a, as you said, buy the parts and bolt them on. There, there's like figure out which ones do you want to do. Yeah, and, those you know. ones don't win shows. Those yeah. ones, those ones are made fun of by the true stancers. Yeah, right. yeah. who um, are cutting sway bars, removing sway bars, which modifying is modifying cars to. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're they're cutting fenders or creating new fenders or yeah. using over fenders. I mean, I I like it. I still dig it. You know, part but, of me still likes it. But from my view, which granted, I'm not part of this community. I don't see what goes into these cars. But just from the other perspective, um, yeah, trucks. I guess yeah. yeah you're welcome. Um, you're welcome. It looks like they just put 
suspension on the front and rear and just drive it. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just, and, the, 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 and like, okay. And then you're buying like whatever, I don't know, uh, Les Schwab was going to sell you for the craziest <laughs> wheels they have. See, I respect pre-runners. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like I, I love, love, I love pre-runners. pre-runners. And I saw a legit Ford Raptor that was totally desert rallied out. Like Hell this yeah. thing, he went around the corner and lifted just a wheel. Roll. Because he was just oh, the, yeah. the suspension some, was so great, soft. That's some great. It's beautiful. Sure, but what yeah. I hate is this this squat truck thing where it's it's mimicking the off roadness, but then just using it for street. I don't get that. Like, and it's, it's like so. so and then like, how do you words. park? You're looking up. You're at a 45 degree angle. You can't see shit. You got a camera up front. How does it work? <laughs> no, you just hit things. You got a sextant. Oh, it's a truck. That's right. Okay, sextant. so you, you yeah. can only park. <laughs> you can only park at <laughs> night <laughs> on a clear night. You're looking at the stars. You're up. I'm at 42 degrees. Earthen. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. As you're backing into somebody's mailbox. Yeah. <laughs> That's third cycle. Yeah, correct. Oh, well, I mean, wow. as you back into somebody's mailbox, you yell, yeet, yeet, yeet. And then... Uh, but then, no, you yell, Carolina squat. Or what was it? Whatever. Yeah, and then, Cali Motherfucker. That's what he did. So, I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to talk shit on anyone's build here. I um, totally will. But, like... On the tracks, I, I will. I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't yeah. see it. Like the, I the mean, pictures that Devin posted, I was blown away. Like there was a yeah. short box Chevy. Yeah, it's definitely it a fucking Tahoe it's, doing it too. Yeah, yeah it was it's just hilarious. It's definitely one of those. Like I it's, mean, it reminds me fucking, the thing that I'll never get behind and never like care for at all is donk. Like the whole donk scene, it's, it's well, the actually, exact opposite of this because they're lifting freaking cars well, that were total shit to begin with. All the seventies and eighties era bullshit. Well, and, and, and I have here's more the respect thing. for Donk than I do for this shit though. Yeah, no, here, here's the thing though. Ninety percent of Donks and Bubbles are cars that are amazingly or meticulously cared for or modified. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're always clean. They're impressively uh, clean vehicles. I think the ones we see, right? But I think the majority of the population, it's just the exact same Well, as, there's there's there is a think, difference. There like, there are a percent of them are total track? shit. There are people with that wheels. there are people that oh, throw suspension. big wheels onto a car and think it's a donk. That's not a donk. That's just a car with big wheels. And and also there's more that goes into donk too. Like there's no sound system that goes in with it. Oh well, yeah, there's, it's, there's it, different it, seats it, that go in with it. Like a true donk takes from the lowrider heritage, right? So it's got the paint. They all have this really candy well, color that's, paint. That's the thing. They all have pristine interiors. They have yeah, right. nice paint jobs, yeah. or if not pristine so, stock paint jobs. I would challenge you and say that that's only five percent of the donk uh, population. Uh, okay, and I would say the remaining ninety five percent are exactly well, what you were talking about with going, the stance. But, but, They're but, but, throwing wheels and suspension on yeah, a shit box fair. and calling it. That's good. fair. Yeah, that's it's that's just fair. the reverse of that. They're sort of lowering it. They're lifting it. They slap twenty fives on there. Now here's the thing. I would lo- if I had like fifteen twenty grand. I would love to go down to the south right. and find like just a mint. Uh, donk of some kind right yeah buy it take it home take off the shitty wheels and all of that suspension and slam a whole bunch of pro touring shit under it that would be rad put a nice motor in it so, yeah. make it handle and then you already have the perfect car to start with yeah well the thing i don't you get can find for, for, some old lady with a monte carlo that's about to die you don't have to go to the south yeah. for that the you thing, the thing i don't get too is the donks that have the new port liveries or the spongebob liveries or the mcdonald's liveries yeah like, well, uh, and there's a, there's, a, there's a name for that too i, can't, I watched a video on it there's a name for it oh that's a whole subgenre yeah, of it's donk whole, uh, it, it's, really? it's like it's like a carol it's like a, it's like a cali lean with the donk style it's like or a really, man strikes yeah, it's all like really southern like that area yeah it's, well anyways I, i'm yeah, not that's I'm fucking not, weird i don't get the squatty truck thing but i love that i just learned about it thank you Dad. squatty potty yeah, yeah there we go uh well, here's something you can get. Uh-oh. Cam Auto Swag. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Damn right. Get our swag. Damn. Yep. Head over to camautoswag.com. Get yourself hats, shirts. Tote bags. Phone cases. All those fun all. things. We got all the good stuff. Money goes straight to us. Helps keep this train rolling. It's mm. true. Choo yep. choo. So, I just searched Florida weird news, and here's what came up with. Uh, Florida man. Florida millennial of interest. Oh, hey. Hell Yeah. Entitlement in the South. St. Augustine man arrested after pulling gun on woman who refused to try his vape pen at McDonald's. Wow. Wow. Even looks Florida. Yep. Fantastic. St. John's County, Florida. Hello. Uh, I I love the names of people in Florida. Holy shit. What's the name we got here? He he is a St. Augustine resident uh, arrested by St. John's County Sheriff's. No way. His name can't be that. Kyle McGill Walker. His name is Kyle. 
the, vic- oh, the victim Walker. T- the victim told the officers that she was approached by Walker. He asked her if she would try a hit of his vape pen. After the victim refused, Walker said, Are you serious, bro? According to the report. Hey, it's a girl. So, yeah. Then Walker lifted up his shirt and showed the victim a gun. Walker pulled the gun out of his pants and began asking, What's up now? What's up now? <laughs> Okay. Because that's a this, logical conversation this, this, I have this, with a stranger on the street. This reminds me of the episode of Simpsons where Homer got a gun. <laughs> He's just trying to find a use to you, like show What's it off. What's up now? You want to try some vape? Opening beers with it. Yeah. Yep. Well, he's like at the Quickie Mart. Oh, will that be cash or credit? I'll pay with this. <laughs> he's just twirling the gun. Oh, that was fun. Uh, the now he's charged with uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Yep. Fantastic. Police Horse. transported him back to the McDonald's where the victim and surveillance confirmed the crime. <laughs> they found him in a pizza joint not too far away. Yep. So, uh, anyway. so there we go. What a way to ruin it all. Fantastic. Florida person of interest. So there was one I wanted to put on here, but it was like a still developing story. Ah. Like it was going to be on the 5 o'clock news. Oh, God. There was a strip club that was open the day before, but then this next day... Orange sign slapped up saying that it has been shut down and borderline condemned. Ooh. And not only were the fire marshal looking into it and like the building zoning commission, but also apparently like the local drug enforcement task force was looking into this. Hell yeah. Wow. Yep. In the 1980s, this wouldn't have been an issue. No, this was strip clubs in the 80s. Yeah. Where you go to go get cocaine in Lamborghini Countaches. Yep. But not anymore. Cocaine and strange. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Some strange. Landscaper drowns in freak lawnmower accident, How police do you say. Drown. What? <laughs> Hold up. This is horrible that we're laughing at this, but Venice, this is so wait a minute. Venice, Florida, no relation to Italy. A landscaper in Venice drowned on Friday in a freak accident involving a lawnmower, according to fire and rescue and police. The 34 year old victim, who has not been identified, was found trapped in a lake underneath an upside down zero turn lawnmower. What the fuck? The victim was at the Lakes of Capri condominium complex as part of a landscape. I like how there's a Google Maps there. Yeah, (laughs) this is where he died. Yep. So officials say the victim got too close to the inclined edge of the lake while operating the mower, causing it to flip on top of him. The water he was found was approximately four feet deep. The man's co-workers discovered the mower in the lake, but thought the victim made it out easily. Mm. Oh, they left him there. Wow. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's fine. Yep. At lunch. Hey, where, where, where's John? Yeah, where'd Johnny Boy go? Yep. Oh, oh he's with the fishes. Wow. And finally, he didn't cut the Godfather's grass short enough. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Florida woman accused of attempted knife attack over pizza slice. Of course. Look at this woman. Because, yep. because logic. Uh, authorities have arrested a woman in Florida who say they tried to attack another <laughs> woman with a knife when she denied a slice of pizza. Uh, what's her name? The St. Augustine re- Record reports 22-year-old De'Erica Cooks is accused of... De- aggrava- De'Erica. De'Erica Cooks. De'Erica is accused of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon or, without intent to kill. Or as Jeremy Clarkson would call it, De apostrophe Erica. Nope. <laughs> The St. John's County Sheriff's Office said Cooks became angry after another woman denied her a pizza slice when she asked for one. An offense report says Cooks told the woman, I'm going to cut you with a steak knife in her hand and then tried to attack her. Deputies say a man in the the house was able to take the knife away from Cobbs. Cooks Cooks told investigators. Cooks. Cook's told investigators she don't remember much. She remained in jail Friday with no attorney listed in the records. Wow, meth is a hell of a drug. Fucking A, man. God damn. Wait. God damn! We have a button for that. Thanks. We do. Thanks, Noob Noob. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Noob Noob. Noob Noob, you, you got me. All right. Before we get into why I asked you people about music, <sighs> we need to mention our good friends over at Steady Broke Clothing, yep. our longest running and currently technically only sponsor. Right. Aside from listeners like yourself. Right. You know. Uh, steadybroke.com, steady.broke on all social media. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and head on over to steadybroke.com. Put some of their highly affordable stuff in your cart. And when you get to check out, punch in uh, Cam Auto 15 in the coupon box. Save you 15% on your entire order. Let them know that we sent you. Just because you're broke doesn't mean you can't live your dreams. Steady broke. Damn right. Love it. Okay, so this weekend... For it to fade out fully. There it is. There we are. Nice. So this weekend we have uh, the next NASA Utah round, and on Saturday night from six to midnight we have the six-hour endurance race. Mm-hmm. Yes, which is a thing that used to take place during the day, but that got kind of boring, so now it goes at night, which and, makes uh, it less boring. 
Yes, it makes it far more interesting. Mm. My God in heaven. Also, the Twilla County Fair is going off, and there are fireworks going off in the background about 10 p.m. It's pretty cool. Sounds like a good time. Yep. Uh, this thing has been done once solo by a guy who, by the end, was singing to himself to keep himself like awake and alert and not crazy. Wow. This weekend, Jason Harward in his Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo will be doing it by his goddamn lonesome. What? Oh, boy. Wow, yep. Jason. Yeah, so I asked him what he was going to be singing, and, um, you know, I can't wow. quite remember what he said. But that's neither here nor there, and I'm not going to bother to dig up the thing. Um, I kind of want to know. I can't remember. Oh, King of the Road. <laughs> nice. Yep. Very fitting. Good job, Jason. Love it. <laughs> yes. So I put it to you, fair listener and fair panelist. You have six hours alone in a race car by yourself. Nobody's getting in there. Nobody's really going to be talking to you a whole lot. What are you singing to keep yourself going? Okay, here it is. I've got it right out the gate. I'm going to listen to audio versions of all of the Chevrolet Chevette advertisements. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, and then geez. I'm going to follow it up with uh, <coughs> Jerry Reed's Eastbound and Down on repeat. Jeez. Eastbound, Eastbound and down, down, loaded up and trucking. We got a long way to go. We, had to. <laughs> we got right. a long way to go and a short time to get there. Come on, man, like a man and run. There we go. We pulled, 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 pulled together at the end. Yeah, it does. Wait, thank you, gentlemen. I got mine. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, you got yours to go. Okay. Um, Yeet. The intro to the cannonball run, the first one. Okay. Nice. Uh, it's just like a, I don't even know like what the fuck. Like a guitar it, riff the it, whole time? It basically. Yeah, I remember now. It's, it's like a Lamborghini. Full song. It's yeah. a Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then? Because I'm fucking racing. Yeah. Yeah. And you're on cocaine, obviously. <laughs> yeah. And Wait, even, even more fitting. I'm so focused right now. Even more fitting. The whole soundtrack to Initial D. Oh, Eurobeat oh, intensifies. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I can't think of Eurobeat sounds. I don't know. I've never seen it, but yeah. Night of Fire. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Good choice. Give me like 12 seconds. Are we playing it right now? Hold so on. Is this happening? Can we, should I say mine we're just while we're go. pulling it up, or no? Uh, we'll, we'll wait. Yeah. No, it's probably not plugged in. This is a six-hour race, so you yeah. have you have time. I mean, you got time. You should point your microphone towards that. Fuck <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, Zach. <laughs> okay, that's not going to drive you nuts after two hours. Oh, shit. <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> Dude, it sounds like every 80s driving game. I love it. It's fantastic. <laughs> do, 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 do you want some of that for the... Euro beat. Something that... Um, Mike, do you want some of this for the... Wow. Okay, I love that choice. You That's some a of great that? choice. Jesus. That's a great choice. But you got to right. sing it in Japanese. <laughs> well, I, I, know, <laughs> I know. No, it's actually like, no, it's actually like in English. Yeah, like, it is. Pretty much all Eurobeat is made in Italy, and its main market is Japan. Yeah, this is English. This is not English. They're like, speaking Japanese right now. Oh, do you think you can? Oh, I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, oh, wow. Like, like Night of Fire is in English. Yeah, oh, no, like Deja a lot of, oh, a lot wow. of the stuff. Like it, yeah, it's it just like, sounds so Japanese to me with the headphones on. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, like this is one of those things. Like you know, like bands that are big in <laughs> Japan. Like yeah. this is literally that. Like it is a uh, thing that is not like really widely recognized. <laughs> I got, I got mine. <laughs> so Japanese. Wow. Though. Yeah, I no, love like, it. That's, yeah, that's the thing. Great oh. choice. <laughs> I, I have an ad. Amazing, you freaking choice. weeb! I love it. Uh, we are all weeb yeah, trash. Like, like, I, I'm not that big of a weeb, but like this shit just, just fucking gets you going. Get yeah, pumped. All right, I would like to change my answer to the entire Wangan Midnight soundtrack. Yep, fuck, correct. <laughs> Did you still do leaders? <laughs> I think I did. Whatever, I've got every Maximum Tune album. Jesus, yeah. Maxi Tune Three was my shit. I actually thirty wrecked, seconds. I wrecked my Jetta <laughs> while listening to Maxi Tune Three. Damn. Yep. I used to listen to like Maxi Tune when I was going to visit Taryn when I had the Supra. Of course you would. Yeah. Why would you not? Like that's I would a just, car you could get in the game. Yeah. 
It's a car I have in the game. Exactly. Yup. <laughs> Rad. <laughs> Same color and everything. Yes. I'm Fucking actually boom. now super stoked to see some of the responses now. Yeah. Before I was like, huh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. But now, like, I'm getting yeah, no, this. no. Like, we have some really good responses. So also, um, I need you to send me that link. So when I when I do my entry level endurance racing with my Corolla that Cam is sponsoring, I can play this. Yeah. You keep telling yourself that. Okay. You as, you, as you actually send it to me. As I'm at you, this is what you asked for. Yeah. I'm just gonna play this at work all day tomorrow. God, somebody's and, going to hate you. Oh, and because my computer's still open, it came through too. Perfect. Lovely. All right. So what? now Zach has a. Th- Three hour super Eurobeat Ultra Mix for high quality playback yep. and ultimate subscriber <laughs> appreciation. Fantastic. <laughs> From JD Neon. How many subscribers does he have? 17,000. 2.6 million views on this I one see video. I on this so badly. Uploaded in 2017. It's been around. Yep. It's been hanging out. All yeah. right. Well, mine's totally opposite of that. <laughs> so mine's going to start out with a song we were singing in Tuesday's episode. Yeah. Cake. I'm going to sing the cake, go. I'm going cake album. The distance. Yep, that yep. whole album is from beginning to end fantastic. Oh, really? you know? is. After that, is, is that is a, a long jacket in that as well too? No, that's okay. a separate. That's a different album. That's okay. the later album. This is the earlier album, hmm. and then the Weezer Blue album. Okay, because Ooh. that's also front to back fantastic. Yeah, and then every Blink One Eighty Two song I ever made. Okay, all starting the from small the Dude Ranch all the way, even before the Dude Ranch, I Cheshire Cat. The, yeah, Cheshire Cat. All the way to the most recent California uh, extended edition, which is fantastic. It's They're really getting good. a new album, September twenty uh, really? second. All right. right after they come to Utah, they're did, they're, they're, they're dropping a new album. Uh, did, did you hear that? What's his book? It's like actually like a really into aliens. What's his name? Oh, Tom yeah. DeLong. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom DeLong. He went total fucking nuts. Yeah, yeah he's like like, yeah. like which I, is I, why he's no longer in Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah. I remember that the Alien song, like growing up, like oh, this song's kind of funny. No, and then no. Rose, he's just like actually fucking crazy. He was one of the first to buy the SpaceX seat. To go up into space. Oh, really? Good for him. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's, he's got a- angels and airwaves, but they all sound the same. So yeah. it's kind of like, eh, whatever. So does Blink-182, but I just love... That's my favorite band of yeah. all time. So if you're on Spotify, I have all the Blink playlist, where I have all the Blink, where you will find it all. So go ahead and look it up. There we go. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm probably just going to be singing uh, every Descendant song. Nice. Yep. Good choice. Well, there we go. You all have fun with that. All right. So... To you guys, first I'm going to pull up uh, Instagram real quick, because that is a thing that if I don't do it, I'm going to forget oh. it. Oh my god. Hold on. I'm just reading some of these already. I'm going oh ahead. yeah. Uh, so, we had uh, Connor Lion 15 on Instagram, aka Connor Lion. He is, well, yeah, Utah Karting Championship in 2015. He's an autocrosser. Uh, his choices are Thunderstruck by ACDC and Bohemian Rhapsody on repeat. Yes. There we go. Uh, Highline Driving Academy. Oh, solo mio. That's exactly what you want to hear, just as that thing is just going down the front straight. Right. Yup. And Sam Babbler. Yes, Sam. I want to fucking meet you. He sounds like an absolute riot, doesn't know, he? Right? Yeah, Sam's just a hoot. Sam Babbler. Hmm, a truly difficult question. Either Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance or Bubble Butt by Major Laser. Why not bubble both? Bubble Butt. Bubble Butt. Bubble Butt. There's only bubble one butt, correct bubble, bubble, choice, bubble, 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 and I think we all know which one that it's is. Major Laser's Bubble Butt. Thank you, Zach. <laughs> yeah, but he, <laughs> Am I wrong? He can, he you can, can just play, let it sit. He can play Black Parade <laughs> if he, like, brushes his hair off to one side, wears a fuck ton of black eyeliner, skinny pants, and stands on top of the car singing Black Parade. Well, also, like, that whole era of Major Laser is fucking amazing. Yeah, it really yeah. is, yeah. though. It's, it's like that new era wave of, like, like, um, like I don't even call it, like, house, like, um, like, like Northern Europe house music. It's yeah. fucking awesome. Say Ben Arhorred. Uh, Hoots Force by Glory Hammer. Did he link it? Also yes, he great. did. Like, are you listening to it? Because I don't know this song. Neither do I. Hoot Force by Glory Hammer. Oh, is this epic metal? I just love the name. This might be epic metal. It's what it seems like. I mean, it's called Napalm, Glory Hammer. It's from Napalm fucks. Records. It is epic metal! Shit, yeah! Oh, fuck yeah! What is epic metal? This. This is fucking insane. They tell a story with, like, the heaviest of metal. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, it's like death metal. Or it's like no. a death clock. 
Sort of, yeah. It sounds like Death Clock. Like, I feel like I'm watching an episode of, of Death Clock. Damn it, I, yeah. I, I learned this from Asian Mike. Like, we were in some dude's house, and this just starts blaring. Yeah. That's another thing. What is this? Called? Glory Hammer? This is going on my playlist. Good choice. Who, yeah. was, who was this? Oh, go back. Ben Allred. Hold on. Ben Allred. Was, was that keyboard a circle? Ben that Allred. That was a circle Maybe. keyboard. Oh, ben my Allred, God. Ben Allred, hero of men. Yep. Holy shit. Jesus. This is awesome. Are these guys not even American? Probably not. They look European. I can, uh, most of these people are not American. Yeah, which makes it even better. Yep. Good choice, Ben. Uh, Chirp said Freebird Guitar Solo, Brandon Kuhn, Danger Zone, or I Can't Drive 55. Danger Zone, good choice. Uh, Josh Carter, is there a correct answer that isn't Bohemian Rhapsody? Ooh, solid gold. Uh, I said yeah, and it's, uh, you know, Sam has it. He's got one of them. And then, let's see, Brandon McConkie, he posted a screenshot of his snowboarding playlist. And it includes Jesse's Girl Jesse's by Rick Girl. Springfield, <laughs> End of the Road by Boys to Men. What? Everything I Do <laughs> this is how you by snowboard? Brian Adams, <laughs> Back at One, Brian McKnight, <laughs> I Ran, A Flock of Seagulls, Diet in Your Arms by oh Cutting my Crew. we got to have you back on because just Straight this playlist alone is a story. Everything about Brandon McConkey is, is an amazing story. This just, is just hero right here. End of the Road by Boys to Men is yep. number two. Oh yeah, I could just hear you as you're shredding down. You're just singing full, full bore, the tunes. I love yep. it. Good choice, Brandon. Wonderful. Thanks for sharing the full playlist too. I mean, I think there's more. Oh man, that's fantastic. Yeah. So, man. Oh, your reply is perfect. Holy shit. That's yeah, that was that. Uh, AJ Glosswalker. I already gave you guys my playlist. Probably something off there. He gave it to us a while ago. He did. Uh, Devin Crazy, Eurobeat, Euro all beat the time. Intensifies. Yep. As you hear the, what is this called? What kind of epic, rock? I call it epic metal. Epic um, metal. This might be like a weird subgenre. Yep. Well, I'll probably get yeah, this corrected. Is, this is Death Clock. This is just, this sounds just like what? it. In other news, Death Clock releases yep. their underwater album, yeah. Murdering Reco- Millions. Recorded on water. Recorded on water. Uh, let's see. AJ Glasswalker really just wants to go back to the club. Shot, 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 shot. I actually did it right. Good job. You wrote it out. Perfect, AJ. Well done. I can see him. Three shots. Shot, shot, shot. And another shot. Shot, shot, shot. More shots. And then more shots. And then... Chirp. Chirp alert. If it's not Freebird, it's this. Which is? Well, we're about to find out what this is. Oh, my heck. What is this? Mephiscopheles? Mephiscopheles. <laughs> God bless Satan. The Bumblebee <laughs> Tuna song. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> All right. Is that like a trumpet? It's a ska band, so yeah, there's a there's a trombone. Ska. Wow. Great choice. I'm in. Right. I just kept waiting. I, even I just kept wa- waiting for the, the song to say, your balls are showing yeah. from uh, Ace Ventura 2. Bumblebee Tuna, your balls are showing. Oh, uh, yes. Joey Harrington with the pink guy. Uh that is a great choice, that Chirp. That is. Man, obscure. Chirp is always obscure, though. And, yep. and I love him for it. And then... He is our unique flower Yep, that has blossomed into man. Um, and then Dan Chalinski. Oh, Danny boy. Yes. Danny boy. What are, you, what are you hitting us with? This. It is the Nyan Cat car. The Nyan Cat lemons car. It's actually playing. <laughs> that is a legit it's, race car. It's actually playing it on the track. Yeah. Blasting. I thought it was going to be like the, the, the F1 guy. No. Nope. No, that was even better. Yep. Man, I would Meow. hate to be driving that car, though. Oh, God. In, in, a, in a lemons race for Listen, 24 hours. Earplugs and classical music. Yep. Oh, man. So, John Walker, who, by the way, finally got his uh, Gladiator. Oh, nice. very nice. Oh, I, good. Oh. It wasn't on the train, I hope. No, it was not on the train. He had oh, to good. wait long because he wanted the steel bumpers. Oh, nice. Yep. So, oh. uh, he, good choice. Uh, he finally has it. He's going to be bringing it to the Enduro, and I'm going to take a look at it on Saturday. Neat. Yep. So, thank you, John. 
Uh, let's see. He's got, let's see, uh, Rammstein. Du hast. Du hast mich. That's Rage Against the song. Machine. Tour de France by Kraftwerk. Bulls on Parade. Yep, good yep. choice. Nine Tour Inch Parade. Nails, Talking Heads, The Clash. Oingo Boingo. Oh, yeah. Rush. Rush. Okay. Wild, Tom Sawyer, yeah. Wild Cherry, Run DMC. Play that funky music. Cake. And the Foo Fighters. Rock and Roll Lifestyle from Cake. Good That's job. A, That's, That's an obscure list. list. I That's like a it. Solid, solid list. I all like right. it. Rounds out all the genres. Yep. So we put this on the camp proper page. We got a couple of responses there. Oh, we did, did we? Yeah, we actually got some responses from uh, your shitbag group, Dad. Oh, we did? The Euro? Ooh. Utah Association? That's first from what I've been here. The yeah. UAE? Yeah. Which, by the way, we got a letter from the United Arab Emirates, cease and desist. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I'm just making that Oh, up. that would be hilarious. That would be funny. No, that would be great. Why? They don't even know we exist. Ah, uh, well, it's all right. So, okay, so we have uh, Xavier Johnson. Wait, people hear music when they're racing? I tried that once. Couldn't tell you what songs were playing at all. Fair. I actually can agree with that because when I did with K1, uh, I would try to play like like whatever. And like, okay, yeah, it's cool for the pump up before you start racing. And then yeah. you start racing, it's nothing. Oh, yeah, no. And then I told him like, this is just like whatever you're singing to yourself. So like, you know what's going on. And he's like, oh, well, in that case, I'd be singing a whole lot of Queen. <laughs> that a boy. Uh, Luke Dreher. Uh, for starters, Cake of the Distance. Yes. And then for yes. some odd reason, I'm feeling Power Man 5000 when worlds collide. Oh. Holy shit. Wow, left field. Yep. Dig Let's it. Let's see. Uh, then from Jake Bastion, I used to play My House by Flo Rida when my cars In had my radios. My house. Now, though my race cars don't song. have radios. So the end track is Xavier Johnson. Go, 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 go. Stay in it. Nah. <laughs> yep. So there we go. Beautiful. Let's get to your fucking... Useless group, Dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> I keep saying that and expect things of them. I wonder why they don't like me. <laughs> well, you don't own a European car, that's why. Oh, whatever. We're very particular. No, I'm just kidding. Well, you did, though. And you owned a horrible one. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> that was not... I did post uh, I did post Jamie uh, Frauenberg's uh, GT3 Touring. That thing is good. All right. Pure sex. Here we go. Alex Danger Yunkin. My yep. boy. I love Alex. The entire Rage Against the Machine catalog and Audio Slave's first album. Ooh, Audio Slave. Yeah. Yeah, man of my generations. Alex has a sweet 318 Ti. I love it. Um, so are you going to let me into UAE? Have you applied? Uh, more than once. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe I'll stop denying you. Kay. Or, good, maybe I'll continue. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I like it. Kinky. Did you really? We didn't let you in? You're in? You're in. I'm, yep. I'm going to double check Pretty right sure now. sure you're in. I think you're in. Ah. Okay, I've seen this Here quote. we go. Scott Michael Chamberlain. Yep, in Drift, Utah. I'd be in stick mode, so bagpipes or Morse code or maybe classical. Oh, Bach. yeah. I'd love some Irish rock. Good choice. Some Flogging Molly, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. I take it all back. I'd be opera singing the entire race as I announced what was going on during the race around me. Opera singing, look over there, look over, look over where, that car right there. Oh, God, Scott. Let's go get him. <laughs> I want this to happen. Yeah. Can I, we get this on audio next time he's at a NASA event? That'd uh, be fantastic. I will. Unfortunately, he tried to chase power, so now his car is in pieces, so. Ah. Yep. Look at it selling stuff off of it. If you want to buy some stuff, Scott Chamberlain. Check it out. There you go. Uh, Nick Pellant, soundtrack to Gran Turismo 3, Motley Crue, Kickstart My Heart, Gold Fingers cover of 99 Red Balloons, The Cult, Power Man 5000. I spent countless hours playing that game when I was younger, so those songs always remind me of racing. Well, see, you missed a really good one. Um, Super Bon Bon by Soul Coughing. Come on, guys. That's a great one. I love Soul Soul Coughing. Dude, yellow number Mike, five. Mike Doughty is a genius, man. Get on the bus, man. Yeah. Get on to the bus. bus. Yeah, yellow number That's gonna five. That's going to take yellow you back five. to Beelzebub. Yes. Oh, <laughs> shit, dude. Get on to the bus. High five, dude. That's Do yourself gonna a make favor. You stop going a rub a dub. One of the greatest freaking bands of all time. Damn. So coffee. Wow. Dude, high five again. True Good choice of Dave. Wichita. Come yes. on, man. <laughs> I love it, dude. I have that CD. <laughs> I've got the whole discography. Yeah. Oh, you're such a hero. I even have some of Mike's like uh, solo stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. I got a lot of his live stuff, dude, too. Yeah. That he did in like, bars and shit after oh, the group split. You got the really good stuff. Yeah. Man. Oh, man. I don't have that. I, I just I've, have I that album. I've got, I think I've got some tapes. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. dude. Yeah. That dude, actually might be worth something someday. Dude, hero. <laughs> hero status. Great choice. Dave oh, wins. Dude, soul coughing. Dave what? wins. Oh, I'm so Dave glad wins. somebody else knows. Oh, dude. You, as soon as you started, man. man. Oh. Super Bond Bond. Super, Super Bond Bond. 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 
All right, and finally, that was a bonding moment for you two really oh, was. Oh, was. I love, I love you, Dad. I love you too. <laughs> okay, calm down. I love you, a Professor. Too much. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, dial it back about ten to twenty percent. There, boys. Nope. You're at eleven when you do at a three. Uh, let's see. Shane Carroll in Motoring United. Ah, uh-huh. getting some getting some decent response in Motoring United. Ah, I get it. Yep. Uh, let's see, Shane Carroll, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99 bottles of beer on the wall. That works, because you're going to be, well, you probably do by lap. You want to do a lot more than so 99 268 bottles. bottles of beer on the wall, 269 bottles of, I can't count. <laughs> there it is. Uh, so, Justin Hendrick, we had to kind of clarify. Uh-oh. So, first he gave us a playlist, basically, uh, you know, every Guns N' Roses album, or at least the good ones. Yeah, Use Your Illusion, um, 1 and 2, good choice. Park in there. Appetite. Hybrid Theory. Bruce Springsteen, good. Okay, yeah, Magic. Back. Sure, Raising uh, the Street. Red Hot Chili Peppers, the oh. later stuff. Some Beck. Beck. yeah. The Way. Well, yeah. So Californication, I mean, yeah. Turnpike Troubadours. Whiskey Myers, Cody Jinks. And then... um yeah, I told him he's going to be singing at least one Guns N' Roses album in this scenario. Because uh, he just thought, he said that's what I would be listening to. And I'm oh, like, no, you got to sing. Yeah. November uh, Rain, baby. You, yeah. That that lasts like three laps. That's a like a eight minute long that song. That gets you through, man. Yeah. It'll fucking get you there. And he you said, do the got... extended cut with Slash's solo? Oh, oh yeah. Freaking tears, dude. Oh, yeah. Tears. No, nah, I told him, you know, fake it till you make it because he said he couldn't remember half the lyrics. So. Yeah, you just mumble. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't that's, matter. That's what rap is these days. Yep. I mumbled down the rap to the thing of So, <laughs> there we go, guys. That is that is what you're saying. Uh, did you have a late entry for this? Please drop us a line. Mailbag at camautomag.com. Links are helpful. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, you heard some fun stuff that we had to legally talk over so we won't get sued or our stuff won't get blackballed from uh, Apple Podcasts. I think it was almost in our 30 seconds. Yeah, you know. Oh, cool. Uh, Devin Creasy and his lovely wife are br- and Katie are bringing home their son, Connor, oh, from the hospital. Congrats. Yeah. Welcome nine days. Welcome to dadhood and yep. momhood. There you go. And parenthood. Fun stuff. It's the Duh. best. It's That's the best. Good. In, best in the hood. We're just going to go ahead and love that. It's the best hood. Yep. Is that their first? That's their first. Oh, welcome to no sleep and yeah. total stress. He's been in, uh, yeah, he's, I think he's been in the NICU for nine days, so they're oh. finally letting him home. Finally, yeah, yeah, fantastic. There's nothing that's that's more stressful than having a baby, and it's their firstborn, too, so mm-hmm. kudos to you guys. I'm glad you made it. The baby's looking great. Congratulations. Yep. I love it. Congratulations, you nothing crazy kids. Nothing warms Pizza Dad's heart more than actual dadding. Proud of you. And momming. And whatever. And ever. Anyway. Families. Uh, yeah, guys, that is it for episode 214. It's a, sh- it's a bit of a short one this time. It's yeah, all right. It's okay. That's okay, though. It's a good one. We so went he- long on Tuesday. We usually go long on Thursday. We're kind of this. Yeah. Everything's balancing out. You just, you just a- got to. This is your opportunity to write down all the stuff that we've talked about. Yeah. In addition to some of your own stuff. And but make, make your own YouTube playlist. Yeah. It's yeah. a quality. Take not, five minutes. It's a quality. Send it not to us. Yeah. It's a quality, not quantity play. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Uh, yeah, if you have a playlist that you want to send to us or you want to tell us how wrong we are or how wrong somebody else was, I don't condone beef amongst the listeners, but fuck it, whatever. You do you, boo. Uh, send your stuff to mailbag at camautomag.com or send us a message on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter still gives me notifications. We're at camautomag on all of those social medias. And uh, while you're there telling us how wrong somebody was, go ahead and give us a follow. We appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 100%. Yep. Uh, if you've liked this podcast and you're not subscribed and you're wondering what the hell's going on, hi, welcome. This is called the CamCast. We're available wherever you get your podcasts. Yes, Apple sir. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play. Like, rate, review, subscribe. Share with other friends who don't know what the hell's going on. It's fun. Yes. It's so much fun. It is. Let's see, tools for you. Uh, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash camautomag. That is really the big thing that keeps this train a-rolling. Get on to the bus on yes. Patreon. Exactly. Yep. It's going to take you back to a camcast. Yep. Uh, a voulez-vous the bus. A voulez-vous the bus. <laughs> you can subscribe at any dollar level you want, up to $15,000 a month, as we tragically found out. Five bucks a month is really where you want to be. 
that's that's the money maker, man. It really, really is because it gets you into the Cam Super Secret Shenanigans group, which where where we read the responses first. It's yep. a lexicon of genius, is what it's it is. So true. Yeah. yeah, all the best people are there. Yeah. All the best. Like, and if you consider so, yourself one of the best people, you should be there. You need to be there. It just yeah. happen. Has Why to, are you shortchanging yourself? Be there. That Thank you. Sorry. You deserve. Wow. You deserve better. That was. I was way too close. That right. was beautiful. I loved it. But yeah. I love no. you though. Uh, that gives you access also to the early release content. So you yep. can be listening to this on as early as Tuesday if Mike feels like it. Uh, it's definitely going to be Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. Tuesday. Oh, okay. Tues- Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday, they, they're putting, it's the 40th anniversary of the Muppet movie, so they're putting it back in theaters. Oh, what? Really? Just yeah. one day? Uh, they had it like last Friday, I think, but Tuesday, yeah, tomorrow is the next one. Ooh, I want to do it's it. It's a Fathom Events thing. Me and Taryn are going uh, tomorrow at 7 at the Jordan Commons. Like the original Muppets movie. The original Muppet movie. Oh, the shit. The Muppet movie. Oh, yeah. shit, dog. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> I've got to check that out. Dude, yeah. All right. Let me know if you want to go. All right, I'll let you know. All right. Uh, yeah, patreon.com slash camautomag. That's where you go to help us the hell out. Uh, camautoswag.com is where you go if you want to buy stuff and support mm-hmm. us that way. Drape yourself in glorious Cam Automag stuff. Glorious. Mm. Also go over to uh, steadybroke.com and drape yourself in glorious steadybroke clothing. Mm. The c- best combination is the Depresso t-shirt and the Cam Automag hat. Oh, That's a good one. Killer. Or the Broke AF shirt and the Cam Zippa hoodie. Yep. Yes. Yeah. That's another good Beautiful. one. Beautiful. Literally gets you into any club it's, anywhere. It's just layers of awesome. Yes, it is. Any club, anywhere, guarantee mm. it. And, and. Oh, hit it, Dave. Cam Auto 15 is the coupon code you need to type in at checkout because it gives you 15% off the whole order. It's over at SteadyBroke.com. Yes. All right. Have I missed anything? Nope. I think we've checked all the boxes, sir. Sweet. Oh, we're getting done at a reasonable time. Look at us. true. Holy shit. Wow. You can enjoy this podcast while you do whatever you do. Whatever it is you're doing, ignore. Man, I'm really surprised. Like, I'm actually going to get home at a decent time. Yeah. Yeah. And And we started late, too. I'm sorry. I get out of work late. It's all right. It's all your fault. It's all right. Always. I I got stuck at work late talking to my my manager about things, about what. What are you doing over there? Easy, Andre. Just just ignore me. Okay. I mean, it's we really hard it's when really you move difficult. the whole, the <laughs> the whole, table, the whole table, table. When you make 32 square feet of table shake like <laughs> that, it's really hard to ignore. My and phone dropped, so I tried to catch it between my legs, but there was a a, a leg for the table oh. there. Oh, all right. And so I slapped it with my leg. I just want you to say, anybody want a peanut? <laughs> like Andre the Giant. I, I it love it. Inconceivable. <laughs> Anybody want a peanut? Uh, wonderful. Fezzik, I found a lady. Anyways, okay. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, uh, this weekend it is the, it, uh, I think it's NASA Utah round five and also the six hour enduro. It's free to come out and watch. Ooh, hell yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to be sleeping in the van because. Uh, <gasps> Can I'm, I sleep with you? I mean, no. we can both curl up on that twin air mattress. Well, maybe what I'll do is I'll bring Lando, the Carusian, and there you we'll go. just park wow. tailgate to tailgate. There we go. Although my tailgate will be at your roof line. It's going to be quite a bit <laughs> taller, yes. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be out there all night shooting photos, hanging out, having a good time, and uh, shooting the next days of racing. Uh, like I said, it is free to come out and watch. Like, you don't have to come out all day. The Enduro starts at 6 p.m., runs to midnight. So Awesome. Dude, yeah. I might be able to come after bedtime when I get the kids down. There you go. Yeah, I'll man. truck it out there at 9 o'clock. There <gasps> you go. If you do, we should uh, carpool. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you got to pass this place in order to get to that place. I'll yeah. pick everybody who wants to come up. There we but go. You're going to have to help pay for gas, and it's going to be about 45 bucks to get out there. I call shotgun, and All I'll right. do that. Yeah, yeah. AC works, though, so we're good. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, that is uh, this weekend out at Utah Motorsports Campus. Uh, yeah, so for episode 214, I have been Mike. I've been Professor Dave. I'm Zach. Pizza day, Ed. Woo-hoo! Oh, I'm going to go to sleep <laughs> a reasonable hour tonight. It's going to be great. Woo. I'm going to go to sleep at the point of the mountain.